this video here is a lofting exercise using the loft command uh, and basically we're going to create this shape that you see here in the screen we begin with the new drawing uh, this is a um, standard with the inches style uh, drawing and we're going to create three shapes that are going to be two inches apart from each other so starting with the first shape I'm going to start sketch and I'm going to choose the bottom surface the XZ plane and I'm going to draw my first circle the circle will have a diameter of three inches right, so I zoom out so next would be for me to uh, finish the sketch and I want to make the work plane visible so I'm going to select the the XZ plane and I'm going to make it visible so I can actually see it uh, from there I'm going to create an additional work plane that is offset from the previous one so I'm going to choose the plane button here and for this I'm going to put my mouse on the work plane so it's highlighted as you see and I'm going to click and drag up and when you do that it creates an automatic offset the uh, distance again is two inches apart and it creates my second work plane from there I'm going to start a new sketch on this work plane and for this one I'm going to draw a square that is uh, 1.5 uh, by 1.5 alright so in sketch 2 I'm going to go to my square option and I'm going to choose the uh, the center point here for the rectangle and I'm going to type in 1.5 hit the tab button 1.5 again and there is my uh, square and I'll hit the green uh, click and hit the green check to finish that sketch next I will go back to my plane button I'm gonna click the plane surface and drag in the upward direction type in two inches next I'll do another sketch on this work plane and for this one I'm gonna draw a hexagon with the distance across the flats being uh, two inches as well. So to do this first, I need to establish my two inch distance across the flats. So what I'm gonna do is draw a temporary circle that has a diameter of two inches. This circle I will delete afterwards. Then next comes the actual polygon. So down here with the polygon tool, I'll choose the circumscribe option because we're talking about distance across the flats um, it's always circumscribe the hexagon is six sides and then from here I'll choose the center point and use my circle as a clicking guide so I'll click on the edge of the circle right here at this location alright and then from there I can uh, say that I'm done and then I can delete my temporary circle that I had in the beginning after that is a green check for finishing my sketch at this point I can go to my loft command which is here under the create uh, panel and I will select all three shapes starting with the circle oh. the next comes the um, square then comes the uh, hexagon at the top okay I'm gonna choose the rails option make sure the rails option is selected uh, as a part of the uh, selection and, and and from there um, I'll hit OK here is our complete shape the last procedure will be to you know turn off the visibility on your work planes so that they uh, don't overcrowd your drawing and there's a complete picture